hear them, 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 but observing the ills and the wrongs and the pros and the cons, right? You become a voice. You become this voice. You have to cry out. You have to cry out. Father, have we have to do that? Hmm? Sometimes you don't even know, but you're caught up. Enough time when me go for talk, we don't know what me go talk. No. We just hope my heavens and some things coming like that. If me I'll chat it and you did record it, maybe I'll three months time, if me I hear it, I say, blood flood. I mean, the chat that. <laughs> that it's coming like, yeah, if I read something, and you go back and read it sometime afterwards, and say something totally like different, and something come out, right? Information, you look at, yeah, that you hear yourself as, oh my Lord, because, you be, at times you just become a funnel. It's just a funnel. You say it's like an hourglass. Maybe it's like a flower, an X, a cross. I mean, ask a question within this point. And when it go up in yourself, and it start come now and start come through now. And I mean, start, yeah, 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 unfolding. This information. Sometimes it's information you don't even know. But it just putting itself together. You are aware, but it's coming on how it put itself together. It's a moment of inspiration that you become inspired by. And Jerusalem schoolroom has everything in the Akasek records of creation. If at moments you can touch it, inspiration comes, new information, and if you can process it and put it out in a moment, as I say, sometimes when you hear it, it's like almost brand new to you. Because you know, even, let me not tell you, mommy, a song we sing to us, lot. I'm only singing, it came to me as a gift. And I captured it and put it down and I walk away. I don't remember it. I never did write it down. I never did hold it in everything. I don't hear it being played. A few years after that, to rat leg, you hear it. And you start going at it. It carry up with it again. I said, my Lord. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, wow. Yeah. You see it? So, you know, one of my songs, um, getting turned on to creation's wavelengths, tuning into life's symphonic orchestration. Mystical movements of creation, expressing irations, wavelengths, tuning, tuning, turn on. But Mr. Van Apartment said, so many ride visions, they're not able to hold fast. Uh, so I and I will share with you this vision for prophets and poets, artists, musicians, and scientists do give visions of creations we have learned. These are they who have them. Because people dream, people have vision, but them can hold it and share it. The gifted ones can hold the visions and transfer it to others. You understand? Reality, man. Which, is a, which is a special gift to certain ones and the prophets and the poets and the artists and the musicians singers and players of instruments and certain and scientists do give these visions, you know? So, in the case of your being able to transfer these blessings, because, you know, everything comes to one source, is what on receiving, I choose to do with it. Do I want to make it available? So for the benefit of ones and ones, or do I want to hold it? So on a musical self. note, note when I, I really I figure it out, I mean, I for the, 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 the biggest tune for the eye on a commercial level, I would say then. Would that be groundation in Zion and no salvation? In a sense, yes, just about. Um, there's a um, love child. Is um that's on topsy turvy. Topsy turvy world. Yeah. Love child. Uh, 
harder. Harder. And if you know that song there, you know. It, <coughs> yeah, that song there was. When I released it, I wrote, I released it on a, a song named Time. I'd made this song. Actually recorded them in New York in 1980. When I went up first with a band. Um, the mess I'm a band, my first band was Earth's First and Last Messengers. I changed it a bit because I thought I was being again too damn presumptuous. <laughs> yeah, but before Lucy come up in Messengers, it was the first and last Messengers. Yeah, right. Well, so time and harder. And Siaga just won in 1980. And I made that. And, you know, harder. I don't, you know the song Harder? Times are getting harder, harder, yeah. harder. Don't. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, say, you know, say, record shop, geek back to me. But I named Teeny Bop, who's a distributor, and about two of them geek back, you know. And so what do I ask you there about? Because the JLP had one on the slogan, um, deliverance, right? I mean, I chat about time to get harder, harder, <laughs> right? So the man, man him say, <laughs> what do I I want my chat about harder, harder, deliverance. And record chat, give back the record, them, you know, some of them, you know, yeah. A time, a time, a time. It's not the time for us to fuss and fight. Time for everyone to work things out now. Some people blast me. Oh, listen, man, uh, they were, well, you know, it's just life. Afterwards, people came back to me and said, blood clad, kid, if you didn't know, you know, if you didn't know, it's like, oh, I support about some man about three years perform Sensimilia. Before Sensimilia really came in. And every year it reached a stage, and I swear it's it good. And I did. The man that make it cat seed. The third year, my brother didn't come to me and said, Brad, kid, I'll tell you the truth here, sir. The man them said, I take a bribe. So I said, Take bribe, take bribe for what? I said, I take bribe for kilo herb in a Jamaica here, sir. True, me say. The plan says we have to take out a man plant, right? So as the breed says, instead of buying, selling her for eight dollar a pound to ten dollar a pound, you can buy a split for ten dollar a pound. No, see, I said, we well, we can sell thirty dollar a pound for says. Or $50 a pound. You can get one stick of herb good for $50. A hundred dollars for a stick of herb, you know. See? You see what I'm talking now? All right. I had to laugh at it, at it, you know. Because, and then later on, or well, two, three years afterwards, when it catch on, where something, the same man him coming and saying, ah, oh, bro, kid, if we didn't know, if we didn't know. So, it's the same thing with harder. Years after, they might put me down, but years afterwards, somebody come and say, man, come in like yours, I'm here to dark the thing because it did get harder. It's just where you are at the time, you know, your mindset. And visionaries sometimes see so far ahead that it takes time for others to catch up. You know, we, are, we have always known in a sense that we, we see further. We see further in many things. And, and, and I'm not that one glorifies that, that uh, or to big up or that, but it's just a truth in, in itself that we are given a gift of back up, like visionaries. We can see ahead of things. I'm a fine say, I'm a fine say it, it's funny to you know because I know there and know, know the powers that are there because we go, we go certain places in the world and see how them, how them idolize and, and love the works of even man like Kido Sai and all of the ancients them. But you realize, say, in a place like called Jamaica now, most of the youth them now, they, if, if you ever say Kido Sai to them, or if you say, 
say a big youth or you have to say, you know, we can't, we can't call so much name, a burning steer. Them don't know what I go on. Well, so, uh, uh, how do I cite uh, them things? Uh, well, <laughs> I blame in a sense, you know. The, well, it's two things. When we were growing up, we were being fed with music of the elders. You understand? Around the world, in a sense, the music. Youngsters coming up, da da da. I always had a few, but the body of singers and artists were older ones who had already been there. And the young ones coming in, fitting in, da 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 da, and the program. These youths don't get that, and the bombardment of the music business and the distracts and they who choose. This is what even I'm saying, and the change of the music when the dance hall became important. And then the consciousness fell below the waist, right? In the lyric. The lyrics fell in the 80s, started going further down from heart of consciousness and awareness into below the belt. Raw physicality and explicit physicality. Which when we were growing, you had to be, they used to have some like burlesque clubs and certain type of thing that you could go into hear certain type of music. It was fed to the society en masse as the development to undermine the conscious spirituality of the children coming up. Because children live what they learn. There's no excuse. No one can make any. And if you give them too much falseness, it's going to be more difficult for them to sieve the nonsense and shit that you implant in them. And if, as physical satisfaction is more savory and fulfilling, it's pleasure. And when they're caught down there, for them to come out to a certain level, it's more difficult. And you make it like a quicksand that then trap them and hold them in a cycle, running after them tears, right? By what you feed them. And you're feeling them gangsterism, fleshyism, to extremes. I mean, love and flesh and all of everything is spicy and wonderful in itself. But how the undermining of women, the degrading of women, the portrayal of women as just fucking objects of, and then your visuals and that, that, that whole thing, whatever, a uh, so little bit. Hmm? The whole heap of confusion and a hey, room. Oh, 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 hey, hey, man, hey, all the rams, and then at the same time, you're feeding them. You're not giving them the chance to grow. And if one of them in balance harm on this, so then we come a gay or uh, whatnot. But no, you're feeding this prominently to them to accept. So in the contrariness of before, they even know their sexuality prominently. You are twisting the image that is on their psyche and their senses. So then I feel like we can solve, we can solve all them things that was far right ones and ones and ones with a positive outlook the same way. Oh. It's a network of positive, Mr. Fogon. An international network through the various years. Because in every year, there's a conscious awareness of the good needed, the way that one should be. But to take it up and start, make it happen. And I, and I, I'd seen Green for Life for sustainable community development programs around the belt of the world. Would be a good way 
to become husband man and husband woman. Holistically, giving communities a voice because there are certain plants that planted a hey, the carbon problem there are certain things in other words we have to get addressed the sea pollution the pol- da, 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 da. no if we can plant utilize two of the main plants for this reconstruction moringa and hemp ganja and so many other trees that and food through trees planted 40 feet apart and anything planted in between and you do that you do that so you're planting a few billion trees billion trees around the belt of the world which will create communities self-sufficiency so the basic food close shelter sick nurses protected infants cared for with a proper educational system put in place. The sciences. And positive messages, music. But from people can start see a light down the tunnel. And an awareness that yes, we are given stewardship of mama earth so the children being taught to be know that you are caretaker for her and the knowledge that there is no separation nor division in the breath of life and without a green for life program there will be no life because if the ocean becomes too polluted which gives two-thirds of the breath to the world and if the continued deforestation and destruction of the terra firma continues then there will be no life in the future so if children become aware now that they are a part of being husband man that is duty to all I would say, if we're given time in the next 15, 20 years, we could turn the paradigm around. A reality so, man, because I know this have to stay consistent on it and know, say, we have, a, we have a vision we really plan for fulfill, and once and once just take the ego out of that one. As they say, something key, self-sufficiency, self-sufficiency is nothing to get the eye across. No, that is the key. Surrender yourself, Rasta. You can't eat more than what you can eat. You can't eat, say, da, 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 da. And no, say, you're being, you're yes, helping right. rowing this boat, right? Together. Saying, and regardless of the other side. What do you say to me in both sides? Both cosmic and chaos. I think there's some duality in both. There has to be a balance somewhere. So within that figure eight, right, between this side and that side, there has to be a balance. And that balance is duality within the same spirit of one. And I imagine that in the cosmic side that there is some entities which might have a bit of the chaos that reside in extremities. Likewise, the chaos side have some of the cosmic balance inside it. And then there's extremities too. So I don't mind working with the cosmic, with the chaos side, because I think I and I have to meet a middle ground for balance. Yes, sir. So if the devil, per se, called devil, 
is willing to meet anything that is of benefit of such I will work. You know, I hear a thing where a woman has in a park and hear a man a will. Everybody put blame for me. Everybody put the blame for me. I'm a ball and people just walk by what they must sit down on a bench. So they saw they go over and sit down and say, What's wrong? What is wrong? And when they look around, they say, Look in the eye of the devil. And the devil says, Everybody puts the blame on me. Did I put the gun in your hand? Did I put the knife in your hand? Yeah, no accountability. Who did it? Who yeah. did it? Who did it? But everybody put the blame on me. What did he say? Yield not to temptation, but yield in his sin. So make you Lucifer. If you don't lose it, Lucifer and his doctrine can't exist. No, no, can't no. manifest. Yes, so who no. become the student and workman for them? I looked at it in reality and I said, you know, there's a whole lot of truth in that. Also, because I see it and make me do it, you know. I read it, but rattling. You they know, they have the choice. They have to find for them yeah. chance. But you don't have the choice, man. Who make a choice <laughs> and do it? Why you yield to temptation for? Make you lose it for. If you never lose it, it couldn't happen. So you lose it. No, it happened. Really I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, me did, me, me did no. <laughs> All right, today, man. Don't make no excuse, man. Are you yield to temptation? I release it. But what are we at times and do it? But you know, I find we lose it at time. But most time, it's slow down time when we see ahead and we see some, uh, we say slip, slip, you fool. We used to play cow, cowboy in the end. You know, when you shot after me, we never take shot. You know. We used to spin around and say, shoop. I duck underneath it, zoop. I zing underneath my arm or something. But me never take shot if me goes after you and point for you and pay you. And you won't drop a your base. But you couldn't kill me, Sata. Unless they come up behind me, I mean, I'm going to know how you shot me. But in front of me, you can't. <laughs> no, really. That is, so. That, so it's the same thing. When things come at you, you do the same thing. Don't become a sounding board and take it up. Negativity come. Unless it's something that is destructive or harmful, then. But with word sound and that at that, try the best all the time not to yield to temptation and become a sounding board. Because when it's going inside, you go inside that and it become da 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 explosion, right? So, what we learn to do is laugh with life, at life, and at the part that I play in life when whatever is happening which is a little odd or da 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 and try not to yield and just look at it oh my father nearly caught me there man and nearly caught it but what i just see the news ahead and i saw this happening because of my action today so i never did really release it so i laugh at life with life and at the part that i play in life when anything is happening, that is after that. That way, I get to see it. And the laughter will leave certain adrenaline and make me feel better. <laughs> well, let me hear.